It's so cold. It's bitter. Oh. Pickle? Really, dude? I don't know. Okay, well. Okay. What is what is our purpose for today? We're sharing. We're telling scary, no, we're telling scary stories of a specific home that we live in. We lived in a haunted house for one year, and that was one year longer than we needed than to I live. ever wanted to live in. You it. guys, we didn't just like, like I mean, I know there's an afterlife, duh, obviously, but I'm saying like I just didn't believe in like hauntings and ghosts. I'm like, no, that's all fake, dude. Until I lived. On 25th Street. <laughs> in the hauntedest house on the earth. I'm get my southern accent because I'm getting scared. <laughs> Babe, you can like see fire in my eyes. <laughs> Look at That's that. That's so creepy cool. Like is, it, is that going to bug everybody? Yeah. Sorry if it bugs you guys. No, if it bugs you. That is Ezra, not going to fly. You can't do that. You can't be. No. <laughs> All right. So we lived in a haunted house. It was back in 2013. And 14. Yeah, 14. Okay. This house was over 100 years old. I'll probably insert a clip here so you can like see what it looked like. But we had a huge request because it is October and we told all of our subscribers at one point in one of our videos that we could do an entire video going off about all the scary things that happened to us while living on 25th Street in this haunted house. So that is what today's video is dedicated on. Like, get ready to get scared, right? So, day one the first day we lived there. I thought it'd be a good idea to invite my friends over and kind of take them on a tour, okay? So my friends, we go on a tour, um, we go out to the front yard and one of my friends notices the curtain is like shaking in the house and nobody's inside. And I'm like, that's weird. So we all run in the house and we look like maybe there's a vent, maybe there's an explanation as to why the no curtain was shaking. Up. There was no vent. I investigated. Okay, not only was there no vent, right when we walked in, it just stopped suddenly. Like the curtain was like shaking and then, and it just stops out of nowhere. That night, Thomas's mom comes over and I'm telling her the story. So I'm standing in the living room and I'm like, Debbie, I'm telling her the story and I'm like 10 feet away. And I'm like, so the curtain just started shaking. I was shaking. here on this part. I wasn't here on the first part. I was here on the second part. Mm -hmm. So I'm hearing Ashley tell the story and I'm like, or dude, you know, there must have been a draft. Like these girls are tripping. Yeah, all of a sudden I'm, I point to where it's coming from. And I said, so all of a sudden- But the curtains the curtain are open. Stopped. Yeah, the, the curtains, curtains are, are open, open and I'm like, I'm pointing at the window. Right when I point at the window, the window shattered. Yeah, it literally just goes <laughs> spider shatter, dude. That was day one. And I looked over house. at it and I was like, I'm trying to logically like find an explanation. I'm like, okay, something caused, it must've been the hot air cause it was getting cold. Mixed with the cold air, caused some sort of combustion and it shattered the window. We don't know, but anyway, it stayed shattered. It, it like stayed in place, but it like spider cracked everywhere. Does that make sense? So that happened that night we go to bed. We're freaked out already Sleep as it crashed. is. Okay, We are totally out cold. Both of us woke up, like we were both completely asleep. We both wake up because we literally hit what I had heard was like it, a crash. It sounded, well like, I thought it was the clock that fell onto the ground. And I thought like. it was someone slamming against our door. Okay. So, we so I was heard. like, I, and I don't know really cause I was asleep. So that's a weird part. But like you wake we up and know what We both woke up and we're like, oh my gosh, something like, just what fell. Was like Where what was kids? that? Yeah, it was so loud. So Tommy boy grabs his old pea shooter. All right. Pea shooter. And I was like, I'm gonna find someone in my house right now. I run and check all the doors are all locked. And I was like, what? I checked every single room in that entire house and it was 4,000 square feet. So I was like every closet, every nook, every crook, every cranny, every <laughs> nanny. I was, I was everywhere in the house. And then I was like, all right, dude, I'm gonna sleep down here because we slept on the upstairs. The middle floor was where the doors were to the home and then there was a basement. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I checked everywhere, everyone's fine. I'm gonna lay in this living room and I'm just gonna crash here and make sure nothing happens. I had my old my old t-shirt remind you. Well, okay. I'm in my nightgown. In my your underwear. Undie, my underwear. <laughs> my and I'm laying on the couch and there's a window to the back of my head, which is on the front porch, where the light on the porch shines through into the house. Yeah. It's like so it's like light. a perfect square shining into the house of light, because of porch light. Well, I'm laying there and a silhouette shadow shines on my wall. So he's, he's, he's so like I see a person. A, a person shadow. Shadow. And I couldn't I can't really say that it was like a perfect silhouette, but it was a it was a body structure. And listen, I'm fast, 
All right, I'm just gonna say that. I can run a 4 4. I've got a killer sprint. He's I fast. Can, I can move. I'm fast. <laughs> and when I saw that, I did not wait to see where the person went. I didn't hesitate. I wasn't scared. I was on my feet and out that front door before anyone could have been to the bottom of those stairs. Yeah. I was so fast. There was no one out there. I ran down my driveway. I ran out to the road. There was no one in sight. And there are no big trees to hide around. Our tree was tiny and skinny. I'm like, what is going on? I remember when you walked in the house and like you finally like, you walked up the stairs, you came in our room and, and it like registered to you that like, oh my goodness, there's just no possibility that was a human, you know? And well, what I was thinking was we really got a situation on our hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're not even all the way moved in yet. The spider crack <laughs> had me going a little bit. The silhouette out the front porch plus had me going a lot plus of the fact we both woke up to a very loud sound so we like i don't know that was just the first day okay so we were a little bit freaked out day two me and thomas who is that that is like an animal Shh. oh it's pickle dude Pickle is still oh, out here. Oh, dumb dog. Oh, Pickle. Sakes, I, didn't hear his little, I didn't hear his little thingy. Okay. I'm over here with my heart. It's beating fast. <laughs> it's beating. Okay, day two. And I don't mean to be dramatic, but I kind of do. <sighs> Me and Thomas wake up. We call his sister, Debbie, to come over. You're going to freak out when I, when I no, start talking. Okay. Debbie, his sister, comes over. She's going to sit with our kids. We were pregnant with... And she's Milo, a, she's okay. a wuss. She comes here wuss to our house. She has her three-year-old daughter. The boys are still sleeping. Me and Thomas are going to buy a car, okay? So, ah, pickle. pickle. Why? Why did we decide to do this out in the cold, dark, October, fall, coldness, scariness? Okay, we get a phone call from Debbie that says, I left your house. I am not ever coming back. It was way more And I that, have anyway. your, she was crying. Tom? <laughs> she was crying. I left. I'm like, whoa, whoa. You left. Where are my kids at? She I brought him. She brought him with her. But I had to leave. Let me I tell you what happened. Know, know. She's up at the top of our stairs. Okay, the boys are asleep in their room, and her three-year-old daughter standing at the top of our stairs. We have about a flight of twenty stairs. They're like really steep. She's three years old, standing at the top of the stairs, looking down, and she says, "Mom, who's that man at the bottom of the stairs?" Actually, I know word for word. She says, "She says, who's him's." Who's him? Who's him? Yeah, I was a little too proper. And pointed for down the stairs at who asking who asking, he and, was. And she would not let it go. There's she kept no asking, who is that? Like, who is that guy, right? She just kept asking her mom. She's like, I had chills everywhere. I grabbed the kids, I ran out the door, and I never came back. So she was like, I'm never coming over to your house. No, nope, you can't pay me to come over here. So anytime, like, in the future that we asked her to watch them, She's like, you better bring them to my house because I ain't ever stepping foot in your house again. So there's another story. Okay, so that's literally two days. We had three okay, freaky four. incidences tell happen. Me, tell me number four is the light one. That one's at the very end. That's like the last thing that happened at our house. Now from here on, it's mainly just like creepy things that happened continually. Okay, okay wait. You guys know, like this is the point in the movie when you watch the scary movie and where you're like, like why, why wouldn't you leave? leave? Like, Seriously. if all those things were happening to me, I always say this about the movie. Like, oh, these You're people like, are so oh, dumb. I would just move. I would just move. Come on. And here I am. I'm like six scary stories deep. And I'm like, I ain't moving. I ain't moving. I ain't moving. <laughs> we can come, deal with this. Come at me, ghost. Come at me. No. Okay, here, here was something that was freaky. The upstairs, which this didn't make any sense. The upstairs of the house. Okay, three full stories. So it's like, it wasn't just like... A, like one room up here. It was like three full stories. It was a shape of a box. Okay. First of all, hot air rises. Remember yeah. That. The upstairs was ice cold. No matter what we did, it was now, always freezing. Coming from someone who knows carpentry work, building work, I know the way things work. We can just establish that hot air rises and in a home, in an outdoor setting, wherever you're at, an A-frame, the heat rises to the top. Okay, so the, the upstairs, the attic, wherever you're at is always where the most warmth is. Somehow, somehow, it was opposite in it our was house. Ice Completely cold opposite. upstairs. And it was and burning hot. And the vents were all the open. Uh -huh. And the hot air blew up there. Mm -hmm. It was But weird. it was ice cold. It was just whack as a Cracker Jack. So, another thing our boys w never slept through the night one night that we lived there. They, I forgot they about would that. cry when they would go into their bedroom. 
They hated being in there. So I decided, I'm like, well, they have like the, they had like the big room and then I had an office. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to swap the rooms. I don't even know what made me think to do that, but I swapped the rooms and then all of a sudden they liked playing in their room. Whereas before they wouldn't, they would go in there for like a that. second and then they would come right back out. They didn't want to play with their toys, nothing. They were only two. Okay. So I was like, that's kind of weird. Well, then freaky things started happening in my office, which was where the bedroom was. I had, I did eyelash extensions at the time and my clients, I swear, every time we'd be in there, I'd be doing <laughs> lashes and something was. creepy would freaking happen. So we had this dresser that was inside of the closet. Um, several times, it sounded like someone was in the closet, like shifting the dresser around. It sounded like it was going, Arr! And there's a creepy attic in the closet, dude. There was. And we creepy thought attic. that it was the doorway to hell. That's really what I thought. I dude, thought, don't you know what? That's not even funny. It was so scary. It was that. so scary. No, I so, went in there one time. I had the chills really bad. I, I went in there one time and I looked at that door and I literally got the worst feeling in the world. I was like, there, there is something wrong with that door. Man, I don't like this. I don't like it either. Another time I'm doing someone's eye eyelashes and I had just, she was, <laughs> she was a brand new client. I had all these awards hanging on my wall and in the middle of doing her lashes, one of them literally flies off you guys, the wall. It, it didn't just, just slide. It was halfway across it the room. It was like, Whoa. boom, and it shattered. And I'm sitting there doing her lashes and I see it out of the corner of my eye and she jumped at, like your eyes are all taped shut. <laughs> so it was kind of a bad situation, but I had to lie and I was like, oh no, it's something just fell. And secretly I was sitting there trying not to cry. I was so terrified. I'm like, what the heck? What the heck? But okay. you guys, the things we do to uphold customer service. <laughs> You're fine. There aren't ghosts just flying all over in here. That's just like some more freaky things. And that happened like a lot. Like it, there was always something happening in the creepy upstairs, okay? We had custody of Thomas's two nephews. They lived in the very basement. They were, how old? 15, 16 at the time, 14, 15? 16 and 14. Okay, so teenagers snuck out all the time, those little punks. And I didn't even know. Yeah, they I thought even I was know. like, I run a tight ship, all right? They snuck out every night. That's yeah, for a different video. Yeah, that's a different video. Anyway. Okay, they were like, you guys, your house is haunted. Like the first night they slept there, they're like, we're freaked out. They go to tell us a story of us coming home. Do you remember that? Both of them come running up the stairs. We're like, we're sitting downstairs. We hear you guys come home from getting groceries. Oh. So we both were like, okay, we gotta go help them unload the car. So they both run up the stairs and they both are like. Tom, oh, Tommy, Tom, boy says, Tristan, pump the brakes. No one is here. There's no one here. They heard. They're like, we knew, like, without a shadow of a doubt, you guys were both. We heard footsteps walking from the front of the house into the kitchen, back out to the front, into the kitchen. He's like, I could have sworn you guys walked in and out of the house like five different times. And both of them heard it. And so they were like, what is that? Like, they we were came, so freaked out. We came out. home and those little tough teenagers were just were hugging on to each together, other. Dude. <laughs> they were so Like scared. lock and key, dude. So oh, after that, that was the first day that they were there. And they're like, you guys, your house is haunted. We're like, yeah, we already know. By and this point, you guys, I'm just like. <laughs> didn't phase us, dude. <laughs> what, did so, it hurt you? You're good? Yeah. It's scary. It Brush it scary. off, baby. Anyway, they're like, we, from that point on, they lived there until like for four or five months. But they said every time we'd, we'd hear it all throughout the night, all throughout the day, just footprints, footsteps. I guess you don't hear footprints. You hear footsteps. Yeah. yeah. So just, we'd hear them all day. And so we never could determine, is that really them or is that the, the ghost? Because that's all we'd hear. Okay. There was a time while we lived there that we were living in the basement because we didn't want to go upstairs anymore. And we would hear the footsteps consistently. It was just like never ending, right? Yeah. It's creepy. It was I creepy. Like it. The very last night that we lived there, do you want to share the light story? Well, I've been literally waiting, <laughs> waiting for the, the light, light story. story. <laughs> all these other stories are like, yeah, that's kind of scary. Like there's explanations in all of them. No, there's not. Well, listen to this. So we're out back. All right. We had like friends over. There was like McKenna, was it McKenna? And we Jeff had some there. homies over. I don't yeah. know if it was them, but we had someone. No, it was Carrie and Ashley. I don't know. There was people there. Anyway, we were there. We had folks know. there. We're out back. We had this little oasis set up with like some outdoor lights. We were kicking it, right? Well, we're the only ones there. Everyone is outside. Okay. You got me, Ashley, two other friends, 
and then our kids. Inside of the house, the lights are all off, mm -hmm. okay? In the kitchen, all of a sudden the light turns on. And I was like, who's inside? And my brother Jay sometimes was over there. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, oh, it must be Jay. Like, I didn't, see, I didn't hear him pull up. And then the upstairs light turns on. And I was like, nobody should be upstairs except for us because it was like only our area was upstairs. And I'm like, why is he going upstairs in my, my area? And so I'm like, hold on, babe, I'll be right back. I run inside and I go and shut off the kitchen light. And then I run upstairs. I'm like, Jay, Jay. And I'm looking for someone and no one's there. And so I was like, someone's here. Like, I, so I shut off that light. I run and I check the front door and it's locked. There are only two doors to this house. The back where we're at yeah. and the front door. My front door is locked and I'm the only one who has a key. I, didn't, I never made a copy of it. So I come outside and I share with Ashley and these people we're with. I'm like, we're you guys, I, I swear to you, no one is in my house. And they're like, shut up, shut up, shut up. And it, well, I'm like, okay, whatever, dude. Like, it's a scary movie. <laughs> we should scary be gone. Movie. We should be gone. Well, this was our last. This, this was like our last was, yeah. week or day that we were there. I think it was like our second to last day because we yeah. hadn't loaded the patio furniture up yet. Yeah. So you guys, so I'm out. We're talking. It's about five minutes later. Every floor on the middle floor's lights turn on. All of them. At the same time. Not just the kitchen. The kitchen, the living room, the dining room, the bathroom, all of them turn on at the same time. Dude, I, you know, remember those pucker stories? I got to add yeah. on to that. <laughs> yeah. I swear, I got chills like you wouldn't believe. And I was like, you go check, Ash. Mm -mm. A old Tommy boy dude cheesed up. I'm like, you go check. <laughs> She's like, Just go see who's in there. I'm like, no, you go. No way. You guys, I was so freaked out. I wasn't going anywhere near that house. I feel like I need a southern accent when I tell this. It was so scary. Boy, I'll tell you what, ain't nobody made it. I ain't had a witch in my closet that made me scared like that. <laughs> it was terrifying. And it was, I remember we were moving out like either that day or the next day or the day after that. And I was like, That ghost Man. sure ended it with a bang, didn't he? God, dude. We're bringing them over here is what we're doing. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to do this what? video. On a serious note, you guys were like, yeah, the scary side comes in. We had constantly when these things started happening, started Googling our address mm -hmm. and like if somebody had died in that house and and every time we Googled our address, like to show people like, check this out. If you Google our address and is this house haunted or whatever, mm -hmm. it would come up with that already. Like the first yeah. pictures of our home. This mm -hmm. is, there is were this... people starting threads. Like, is this home haunted? What's wrong with this home? And all of the people that started the threads were people who lived there before us. Yeah. And so this house was over a hundred years old. Like I let all of the creaks and like Arr! those things go. You, know? <laughs> you guys think those are only in movies? That's real life. Dude. Yeah. When you hear a floor creak and there ain't nobody next to you, and you're sitting on the couch and all of a sudden you hear, Arr! I would just write it <laughs> off. I was like, yeah, old architecture, dude. So I know that I'm not thinking of them all because there was literally something almost on a daily oh, basis. Oh, this video that would be two heard. hours if we told all of them. Yeah. But those were some of the things that like really stuck out to me. People came the into out of our me. home. They were like, ooh, ooh, this is like kind of an eerie home. And yeah, I'm, they would just And I chills. like, and here you come into this house and you're like, oh, this is like a, a really good feeling of this That's home. That's true. We've only had people say that about here. Yeah. I've so never had a creepy, one creepy thing happen here. thing is the good ghosts followed us here and the bad ghosts are kicking it over there. When we moved out of the house the very first night, I will never forget, our kids slept through ooh. the night. Yeah, we need it. We have to share that. They slept through the night. Listen. They had never slept through the night one Simon day. Simon and Cohen were two yeah. years old. They, yeah, come on. You should and be sleeping they woke through the up night. At least four to five times a night. Yeah. I know. I thought like this was just normal. Was like, mad. okay, kids are just going to wake up like this forever. Like they'll be 18 and they're still going to be waking up. I, I promise yeah. this is not an exaggeration. I'm not, this like, no jokes. In We moved over into Layton and our first night there and for the rest of Simon and Cohen's life, they slept all the way through the night. All the way through. It is not a coincidence. No way. Because they were up at least four to five times. Yeah. At least. It was so scary. Like that freak, that honestly, that waking up and realizing, I remember we looked at each other like, oh my gosh, they slept through the night. And it like, it made us happy, but at the same time it like freaked us out that much more because I'm like, what was wrong with us to stay as long as we did? Okay, I don't want to tell any more scary stories. Okay. Shh. You hear that? 
That's not fun. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs>